so welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm hoping to collect something which is going to make the inside of my car so sick. I've wanted these for ages. Um, they're quite rare to come by and they're expensive as well. Um, they are coming out of a Fiesta so they're all ready to be bolted straight into my car which is even better. Um, what I'll do, I'll have a look at them, see if I'm going to buy them, get back home and then show you. So I think I'm probably going to do a buy, so when I'm home I'll give you a show. We done a buy! They're quite expensive, they are quite mad, might need a little clean, but they're, they're decent. Gonna just uh, get them out of the boot and I'll show you what we bought. <laughs> quite gassed. Let's do this. Madness! <laughs> Corsa VXR Recaros. <laughs> Fucking mad. They're actually already from a Fiesta ST150, so they're all ready to bolt straight in. Um, luckily enough, they was only like 10 minutes away from me. Um, guy gave me a decent deal so I'm happy with them. So shout out to the guy who I bought these off of. He said he watches the uh, channel. So yeah, gave me a good deal on these. I'm really happy with them. In really good condition. There's a tiny little mark down here but that's pretty much underneath. The fabric might need a little clean but that's something that you're going to expect anyway. I think we should get them out of the car and then give them a good tour. Money land. <laughs> they are a lot heavier than the standard seats as well so. I'll put the camera down and I'll help you. Comfy as fuck. Quite hard at the bottom, in the middle. They got height adjustment. Can't really tell that it's going high, are you? There you go. He's going really high. <laughs> and then obviously the forward and back. But yeah, they are so comfy, they probably do hug you. Like these bolsters on the side are a lot bigger than the standard seats. Mm. They just feel a lot more kind of supporting. Yeah, they're just really comfy and I do just love the look of them. Obviously these bits of white then find a way of maybe taking these out and possibly of course black or something like that. Maybe purple would look quite nice. Maybe a purple but I just think they look so sick. So yeah, um, the guy who sold these, I think his name's James, um, he also gave me this as well. This is the centre bit uh, where the handbrake is. Um, he said that this bit needs to be cut because these seats are a bit wider so that doesn't fit or the seats don't fit without that bit kind of being cut. So I'll fit that, see what it looks like and maybe if I'm not a fan of it or something I'll try and do something with my own one which is in the car at the moment. But yeah, I'm really happy with these. Um, what I'm going to do is pop them in the garage now, so it's starting to get dark now. So I'll give them a good clean, I might try and get a wet vac from somewhere. Give, them, give the fabric a real nice clean, give the lever a nice clean as well. Um, and then once I've cleaned them all out of the car, then maybe on my next day off work, because I'm back tomorrow, then we will have a look at fitting these insane looking seats. Yeah, it supports your legs, supports kind of halfway up your back, and it kind of supports your shoulders as well. And they're just super comfy. I love them, I've loved the look of them for ages. I've wanted a set of VXR seats like at the early stages of me owning an ST. So the camera battery is just about to die, so I'm going to just whack these in the garage, wait until I've got enough time, maybe a day off work or something, give them a good clean with maybe a wet vac or something along those lines, and then we can have a look at fitting them. So I'll leave the video here, and I'll catch you again whenever I have time to clean the seats. Alright then guys, so it's a couple of days later, um, I've actually hired out a rug doctor. So I'm using a handheld attachment to clean the seats thoroughly before I put them in. It's literally like a wet vac. Um, I've just cleaned one of them and it's come up a lot, lot better than what it was. Um, they do look pretty, pretty clean now. So I've got them both just sitting here, I've still got to do the driver's side. Um, so I'm just going to show you what the difference was. Right, so it's not the best lighting in here, I've turned the camera right up, but you can tell that's the driver's one, which hasn't been done. You can see all the all the kind of like sweat and dirt marks. When they're like this, you can tell that looks pretty grim, to be fair. I thought these looked pretty decent condition when I picked them up, but now this one's been wet backed. I think it's still a little bit damp, so it might be a little bit darker, but we're leaving them in the house. 
just so they can dry naturally um, in the warmer kind of temperatures instead of out in the garage or whatever where it's cold and wet. I've actually rubbed in some leather valet uh, kind of stuff into this leather um, and it does look, it's kind of brought it up nice and it looks a bit of a darker black to this one. It might be a little bit difficult to see and pick up on camera but it's a nice kind of matte finish and it really has brought out that leather to make it look really nice. Then we're going to uh, just wet vac this as good as we can, go over this one with the leather polish then we're probably going to leave them in the house just to dry for a couple of days, maybe a day or two, then get them in the car. Right, so this is the water that's been sucked that way, it's filthy. If I just pour it out. That is disgusting. It's like brown. You're right then guys, so welcome back. It's probably about two weeks later. Might have been a bit of a weird cut, but um, took a little bit of time um, just to get the bolts and the holes lined up for the bases, but I got them bolted in. Didn't really film it because it was just a bit awkward to film and things like that. All it was is just fitting four bolts in um, and getting the seat lined up. Seats have been in for about two weeks now. I've been getting used to them and I think they are personally so much better than the standard seats. They hug you so much more and you feel so much more kind of confident in sitting back in the seat and you're not going to roll about and fall everywhere. Literally, I'll go around corners. Um, and you don't even move really at all. It, they perfectly fit my kind of body shape. So yeah, I think they actually are a lot more comfier as well. The standard seats are quite padded and soft, so that might make it feel more comfier. But in these seats, I think they're a bit harder. Um, where your bum goes, basically, they're kind of soft like the old seats, but halfway down your leg, just below your bum kind of thing, they're a lot harder. Um, so I just think it gives you more stability and you feel a lot more secure in the seat. I do really like them, like they look sick. There is just a tiny little, not a clip, like a hook. but like a little hook, um, which I think the seat belt can kind of rest in. Um, and when the seat belt is kind of pushed into this hook, your seat belt feels really secure, like you're really held into the seat well. Um, I think that's another good thing about these seats. You just feel so much more confident and stable in these seats. But yeah, I just wanted to go for a little drive um, just to show you guys kind of me not moving at all in the seat when I'm like cornering or anything like that. Um, so I think they'll, they'll definitely be a good addition to the car for say like track driving and just for appearance as well because I just think they look awesome. These little white bits in the back, I will be taking out and painting them sometime. Um, and I've also heard from a friend that apparently you can get little stickers that you can actually stick over the Recaro sign um, to make them look sick as well. So I'll probably be going with maybe a purple. Um, not entirely sure what color I'll paint these white bits just yet. Maybe a panther black to suit my car obviously or a purple so I don't have a lot of purple in the interior um, so I think I might add a little bit more uh, purple to the interior yeah so the camera is on my tripod um, my fiance is kindly holding the tripod in the footwell at the moment Hello. there she is um, so it might be a little bit bumpy for you guys it might not be the best I do want to in the future maybe get like a GoPro or something where I can mount somewhere it might make it a bit easier for driving um, kind of like a point of view driving video which I want to do in the future as well. I do need to fill up the fuel as well. Standard Fiesta things filling up. Yeah so I think the, the last thing that you saw was me maybe wet vacuuming them 
and they actually came up so so well from that I was actually quite surprised because they didn't actually look too dirty the seats when I bought them I then got them home inspected them and you can see they, they were a little bit dirty but after I'd wet vac them you could really tell a difference of how clean they've come after the wet vacuum thanks for pulling out on me mate but yeah, the uh, wet vacuum really did help a lot. They do look very, very clean right now. So I want to try and keep them as clean as possible. When you are going over bumps, you can't, obviously, because your car is on coil overs, you can't, you can still feel every single bump, but it, you're not being chucked about as much as your old seats, are you? No, you feel a bit more secure in these seats from the old well, seats. I feel like I'm not going to... When you're going around a corner, I feel like I'm not going to actually like, headbutt the side window. <laughs> talking like I drive like a maniac. I feel like even going around a corner like this, you hardly move at all. You just feel so secure in the seat. It's like a quite a sharp corner coming up. Change down a second. Just show you going 30. And you just don't move at all. You just feel planted in the seat. You're going around a corner at 35 here, it's quite a sharp corner. And you just don't move at all. It's just these massive side bolster bits. Big puddle! I think I found a decent deal um, because the VXR seats were fitted onto the OMP bases already um, and I think the OMP bases are like hundreds, maybe 120 quid roughly, something like that. Um, but they're already on the bases so all the work's already done for me. The uh, seats and the OMP bases came out of a Fiesta already so they were already just to be straight bolted into mine. Um, and they were 600 quid, which I thought is a is a fairly decent deal. Um, but if you're if you find some VXR seats which haven't got the OMP bases on, then obviously you're, you've got to look at buying the OMP bases as well. But yeah, I'm really really happy with how they are. Um, they're super comfy. They are just a little bit bigger than the standard seats, so they are a little bit annoying down at this kind of centre console bit. If I just take the camera off, see, I know you can't see too much just down here, but. This is the edge of the seats here. They are quite tight to the uh, gear stick here. Obviously you can get in all the gears and stuff completely fine. It's not an issue. Um, obviously the handbrake's a little bit tight as well down here. A little bit of a tighter area to kind of grab it, but it's completely fine. I've got used to it now. And I just think that it's only a little minor kind of issue which is maybe slightly annoying to some people, but for me it wasn't too bad. I've got used to it and I just think that the Having the seats in here and how they look and the performance of them totally overcomes the tiny little issues. But yeah, I'm just super happy with them. I'm so, so, so glad that I got them because I know they are very, very rare seats to find. But yeah, I think now I will just film a few cinematics um, and then end the video there. So I'm going to leave the video there, so thank you all so much for watching, hope you like the seats, I certainly do, um, but be sure to subscribe to the channel, comment if you like them, let me know what you think of them, uh, leave a like and head over to my Instagram for regular updates and uploads, whatever pictures that I've taken, um, just trying to get my followers up a little bit more on the Instagram, just for you guys to keep updated with them. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there, so thank you all again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.